They'd originally planned to cycle the entire coastline of mainland Britain in May, but the first lockdown put paid to that. When restrictions were eased in July, off they went on their four-month epic tour. And then came the announcement of a second lockdown. We were near the Humber at the time in Hull. Yes. So it was very, very windy. So we'd, uh, we had planned to stay there for a rest day. Sunday rest was supposed evening. to be a rest day. Yeah. But we had the television on in our room and we heard Boris's announcement. We could have said, right, that's it, we'll stop now, get on the train, go home and finish this another day. But we didn't want to do that. We desperately <laughs> didn't want to do that. Julia Gooch and Lyndon Tunmore were now cycling 100 kilometres a day. That's 62 miles in memory of two friends who died last year from different cancers. In reality, I, I think the, the dangers of the wind were not, you know, we really shouldn't have, shouldn't, shouldn't have ridden at that point. But no. We, we no. crashed through it. They're raising money for a new £12.5 million hospice to be built next to the Norfolk and Norwich Hospital. But fundraising for the new Priscilla Bacon has been tough in these times. So many fundraising events were cancelled through the summer, meaning that the charities missed out on at least £200,000. In addition to that, our seven charity shops have closed, so we need to try and make up the shortfall. Most people haven't done much this year, but they've had a huge adventure. And it's about to end where they started, in Goulston in Norfolk. Yay! Lockdown meant there couldn't be a big welcoming party, but bravo nonetheless. 5,000 miles cycled and over £5,000 raised. Natalie Gray, ITV News.